Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a couple of different things going on. First and foremost though, I'm gonna be trying out the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk Foundation. This one's been getting a lot of buzz. It's new from CoverGirl. It's clean. It's gonna be just a little simple, easy foundation review today. First though, I wanna talk about the ColourPop Sailor Moon Collection. I went on ColourPop as soon as it launched to try and get this. I was gonna get the $89 bundle of the full collection as well as an additional palette. I was basically gonna split my bundle into two, do a giveaway with half of the bundle. That was my plan. I added everything to my cart. I went to check out. It kept me sitting there in line for a good bit of time and it said like, please don't refresh the page, you'll lose your spot, blah, blah, blah. By the time I actually got to check out, they were completely sold out of the bundles. I jumped back onto the website, they were sold out of the blushes, they were sold out of some of the lip kits. So all I was able to get was a palette and a lip kit. I was really thinking about it and like for how fast they sold out and everybody was so upset that they sold out, I decided instead of doing a review and a look with the palette that I'm just gonna give the palette away. So within my little CoverGirl review, we're also gonna do a giveaway in this video. Yay! I got the Moonlight Lip Kit and then I got, of course, the little palette. So I'm gonna give them away so I'm not gonna use them because I want you to have like a brand new fresh product. I'm hoping that they're gonna restock it and then I can just buy it once the restock comes out and maybe I can do a, a video with it then. Let me know if that's something that you might wanna see. But here are the little lippies that come in the lip bundle. Super cute. This one is a gloss. This one is that like ultra blotted formula. And then I'm not gonna touch it or swatch it or anything like that, but I just wanna look at it. Because I've heard that this packaging, oh my God, this packaging is sickening. It's so cute. Look at what the little mouth. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to go. There it goes. Cute. Way cute, okay. It's so cute and it's got that like, so fun. I'm not even gonna take the thing off. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm not even gonna take the little plastic thing off, but God, it's cute, isn't it? Wow, okay, I really hope they restock this. I'm giving it away, I'm giving it away, I'm giving it away. Giving it away, it's going back in the box. Just make sure that you stick around until the end of the video to hear about this giveaway as well as some upcoming giveaways that I'm going to be having. First and foremost though, we're gonna be trying out Miss CoverGirl Clean Fresh Foundation. It's a dewy finish. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have oilier skin. I like a more matte, Finish. I can do a natural finish if I have a good powder. I can make a natural finish work. But it has been so dry and so cold and so windy here. My skin has followed suit and decided that it wants to be that dry girl lately. So it's like a whole drama that I'm having between myself and my skin. So I'm gonna try something else that, that might make it happier today. We'll see. It's supposed to be hydrating. It's supposed to have a radiant finish, which is normally what I absolutely try to stay away from. But we're going to give it a shot today while it's still cold. We're going to see how it goes. Without further ado, let's go see Naked Face Haley and what she thinks about how Miss Clean Fresh, whatever it's called, foundation from CoverGirl goes on. Here we go. <laughs> All right, but let's go in with Miss CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I was feeling particularly dry this morning, so I thought this would be a good time to try this one out. I've been seeing everybody doing reviews on this. I wasn't going to review it, and then Tati reviewed it, and she loved it, and I said, I'm gonna buy that now. <laughs> I'm just scared because it's a dewy finish, which is not... I do not go for dewy finishes typically. So the whole idea behind this foundation is that it's formulated without a bunch of yucky stuff. The thing about CoverGirl foundations I found is that they almost always have talc in them. In fact, I think this is the only foundation they make that is formulated without talc. Now talc is not that bad of an ingredient from what I've read. Like the ingredient itself is not problematic, but I think it's the way that it's harvested, if you will, is a little bit problematic. If you're interested to know more about ingredients, like I've been thinking about doing an ingredient video on like 
why certain ingredients are less desirable than others. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know because I'm always really interested to read about ingredients and figure out what's gonna be good for my skin, what's not. Anywho, blurs imperfections, evens out skin tone, sheer buildable coverage, instant and all day hydration. Not usually what I'd reach for, but we're trying something new. It says it's made with coconut milk and aloe extract. I, <laughs> coconut milk and aloe extract. I did it again. It says it's made with coconut milk and aloe extract. Very liquidy formulation. It says sheer buildable coverage. don't think I like the way it smells. Mmm. It smells weird. Oh, I don't like it. Very sure coverage so far. But some days that's all you want. It's just, you just want things evened out, right? To describe this as sheer coverage would be very accurate. It's very sheer. Looking at myself close up in the mirror, I don't love it, but kind of looking back at myself in the camera and my mirror behind, it's not horrid. <laughs> it's not awful. Let me go ahead and set it with some powder and see what I got. I'm gonna use my Thrive Cosmetics Translucent Matte Powder. Although I am having a dry time lately, my skin is still pretty oily. So I kind of just want to make sure that she's going to get the support and the help that she needs. So we're going to go on with some mattifying powder. I did a full video on Thrive Cosmetics. I like this powder. I've used it with my Thrive CC cream that I really like as well. I've also been using this powder with some other foundations. I thought it would be a good option to rule out if anything goofy happens. I know that this powder works well, so hopefully that will just indicate that something's goofy with the foundation. I want CoverGirl to make like a clean powder as well. I didn't see anything from this line in powder form, so I love powder. It just pulls it all together for you. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face. I'll check back in before I go and I'll do some check-ins throughout the day, so I'll be right back. So I completely flopped and forgot to do a check-in halfway through the day. Whatever. It's been a day, y'all. It has been a big ass, long ass, full ass, ass of a day. It really has been. I'm recording this on a Wednesday, so it's been like hump day. So anyways, let's check out this foundation. I gotta say, I haven't really looked at it. I haven't like looked at myself in the mirror and like really evaluated it, but it's been pretty comfortable for, for the most part. So let's check it out. So, it's fantastic and suddenly everything that I've ever known about myself is a lie. Hmm. I for so long have just like completely avoided anything that's like radiant finish, dewy finish, anything like that. And now this little CoverGirl foundation comes along and it gets me through the full day without any yuckiness. Like everything looks really pretty dang good right now. By the way, this is not a cold sore, it's a pimple. I did use my Thrive Cosmetics powder. It's a mattifying powder, so I think that that probably helped. I'm just not even sure what to make of this. I feel so strange about liking this foundation. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to play with it some more and we'll just kind of see, see what we think. But right now, like, it's really good. It's really comfortable. It looks nice. It's it's worn well. I've had it on for 10 hours now. Wow. So I'm impressed. I like it. I'm gonna use it again. I'm gonna use it again tomorrow and we'll see. Hey, okay, so I just wanted to add this to my CoverGirl video just because I wore it again today. It's now the day after I initially shot my video. 
it applies a little weird. Like it almost, I don't know. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. it it's like it clings to the little skin on your face or something. I don't know. I feel like whenever I put it on, there are these little like fragments that kind of, what, it's not even that big of a deal. I just blend it out and it goes away, but it was just a little odd. So anyways, it's not even that important. I don't know why I brought it up, but I just wanted to add this because I ooh, tried it again. So it's like a, sorry, my dog is Miller. Anyways, I wore it again today and it's been going great. Um, I think that this is gonna be like my go-to foundation for the remainder of winter and we will return to it in the summer. I'm gonna have to do like a uh, retry all of these foundations video once it starts to get hot here again because I feel like all of my foundation reviews I've just been like, it's so dry, it's so dry, it's so dry. But I'm trying matte foundations because I, it, I'm just rambling. Anyways, I just wanted to add this in and say, Another good day with this CoverGirl Skin Milk Foundation. Very comfortable, it's working well. I wish it offered a little bit more coverage, but ta-ta for now. As of right now, as of today, after this crazy day that I've had, the one thing that I was able to count on to help me maintain my sanity today was this dewy foundation from CoverGirl. I'm like, I'm like up is down, forwards is backwards, it's opposite day. Who am I, where am I, what is happening? I don't know what's going on. Anyways, it's great, it's great, I recommend. If you have oily skin and you have tried this foundation, let me know what you think about it. Nothing makes sense to me anymore, but it's fine because I still love makeup. I'm having a great time. Everyone's having fun, right? It's great. So anyways, you're probably like Haley, blah, 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 foundation. I wanna hear about the giveaways. So if you wanna enter today's giveaway for the Sailor Moon little bundle that I have, all you gotta do, like the video, subscribe, leave me a comment. That's it. That's it. I do have some more giveaways coming up in the future that you're definitely gonna wanna look out for. I finally got my shipping confirmation from Jeffree Star Cosmetics that my Extreme Frost highlighters are coming in. I'm planning on doing like a full highlighter video where I'm gonna do like the Extreme Frost versus every other highlighter that I have basically. I also just ordered all three of the new Huda palettes. Also, I get all of the boxes. So I get BoxyCharm, Ipsy, Allure, Birchbox, FabFitFun. And while I do get some really amazing stuff in those boxes, I also get a bunch of stuff in those boxes that I don't really use, that I like keep meaning to use and I just never get around to it. I do have that big iconic London palette that I got in my BoxyCharm last month. I got all free BoxyCharm boxes coming this month. My Birch Box just came today. So Birch Box gets the winner for timeliness this month. Yay! <laughs> Box. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be doing a bunch more giveaways. I'm super excited for all of my new subscribers and all of my new friends, those of you that leave me comments and like my videos. So anyways, Sailor Moon giveaway is gonna end at the same time as my Bloodlust giveaway, March 11th. Let me know what you wanna see reviewed. Let me know what you are excited that's going to be released, anything like that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll come back and watch another video and hang out with me again, because I really appreciate you coming and watching and commenting and liking. I will definitely, hopefully, see you in the next one. Bye.